So now we're ready to run our check. We go to run check. It brings up the run check dialog box and we're going to run our report. And off it goes and executes the run report. OK. It's given us a 65% pass mark, so there's a few things that uh, um, haven't quite worked out for us. But the good news is, in the report, it will then tell us exactly what it is that it's failed on and why it's failed. So we scroll down and we've, we've got a few passes, that's good, and 65%, that uh, used to be a, a first if you're on a university degree, so that's not so bad. Or it's a good 2 1 anyway. Um, so, what we can do, first one is it says system duct a parameter does not exist in the model. So, we expand it and it, we can look there. There's 10 in total and it says system category does not have a parameter. So, it's not even in there. Okay, so we did a check on it. We could, there's two things we can do. If we go to show, we can select show and you see what it's done is change the properties palette for the uh, um, duct systems and you'll see that there is no system category in there so we'd have to go back into the uh, Kobe schedule and add it in so that it appeared in the list. If you go to edit type yeah there's no system under the Kobe data not there at all Okay, so that's the first one. So we, or we could just go back into the check and take that out because we are checking something that isn't there. But the good news with all of this is that yes, you can just switch to each one. Facility name does not have a value. Go to show. It gives this error message about saying it can't find a good view. But when you click on close, it actually does switch to the property information, and you can actually see there, Kobe facility name not anything in it so we'll say that this is the um, demo project there we go extra M in there somewhere don't know why okay that's good and you just keep on going through all the different things until you've set it up I'm going to come down to the field formatting because when we go to the field formatting it says that the field facility category does not have the uniclass value. But I know that uh, um, I've assigned it the proper uniclass value. But when I look at it, I see that the uniclass value is actually to the old uniclass 1, not uniclass 2. So it's looking for table D, where it should be under facility. It should be um, EN. Okay. So it's the configuration file that's wrong in this instance. Um, and we need to edit it. So I'm going to close it down at this point. We can come back to it at any stage because if we now go to our add-ins and our, we can say view last report and it just brings it back up again. There it is and we can look at it at any time. But what we need to do is to look at that configuration and that sits outside this dial, um, these tools at the top here. There's a separate configuration which sits, um, which installs itself separately and I've got a shortcut to it at the bottom of the screen so I can select it and this is it and so what you would do you would save that Kobe file that we've done as a separate file and now we can open it and edit those checks but you do need to have a bit of an understanding of this once again I'm going to give you a brief overview but if you want to go into this in much more detail then the BIM level 2 course that we run as an organization is the perfect thing to do So the first thing we, we're going to do is to open up the file. So we go to open and we find our configuration file. Okay. And it was there it was there. And we say open to it. So it brings it up. And what we need to do is to understand this dialog box a bit more. So we're going to look at the check builder tab that shows you all the checks. And now you're familiar with this because that's you can see all the checks that we've done. And if we come to the field formatting, you will see that if we go to the field formatting, choose facility, and then expand it. 
and then say firstly uniclass there's a bit of code that says it's looking for uniclass um, code D okay and we said that the facility is EN that's a new code okay so there's a bit of editing that we'd have to do on the code here I'm not going to do that as I say you can learn this on the on the course so what I'm going to do very quickly is to switch to one I've prepared so if I click on open again and if I then go to the one I've set up and then go to field formatting expand my facility uniclass and you can see I've edited it now and that's got the the code EN which it's searching for so I can close this down and I can go back to my configure because I import that in and for my checks so if I now go to open and then this time rather than use the standard one that comes within the Kobe model checker we go to open an existing configuration because we've edited it we go and find it and we import it so now we check our field formatting you'll see that it has the new categories so space facility has the EN and we've chosen them as well they're the tick boxes okay now because we don't have any of the electrical pipe and then same with the switch we can take those out okay that's good now the other thing that we need to do is just to make sure that uh, um, on the Kobe spreadsheet that we filled in all the values um, and in the model that we filled them all in so I'm just going to switch my file there we are and I probably if I go to my configure just make sure that I've got the right one in yes it's got it but it just hasn't remembered the things that we switched off so let's just do that again I should have uh, changed files first that's good so now what we can do is run our check again and we'll see how we do and there we are 100% pass because we've edited all the fields that we need to and just made sure that everything was in the right format so if you get 100% pass we are now ready to do our Kobe model export and then we'll get our spreadsheet with all our information with the correct information all the correct fields filled in thank you